Now for correlation, we will go to linear regression. Okay, so the correlation measures the uh, linear relationship between two variables. Linear regression also does more or less the same thing, but there are many additional things that you can do with linear regression that you cannot do with correlation. So here is what we uh, mean by what is the linear relationship and what is non-linear relationship, the strength of relationship and so on. The first graph just be the correlation is minus 1. There is a strong negative relationship. So the uh, line that passes through the dot points between x and y. So we are trying to measure the correlation between x and y which are two variables. And it is negative sloping, right? It is downward sloping. Okay, so that's a perfect correlation, but it is a negative correlation. Look at, go to the right, okay, and see the second graph. Again, the same, it, the relationship is negative, but the strength of relationship is somewhat less. If you see the line that passes through the, this point, it is not like the first one, where, you know, it is passing through all the data points. But here it is not the case, it is not passing through all the data points. Go to the third one. Here the, uh, the linear uh, correlation is zero. That means there is no correlation between x and y. If you change x, there is no change in y. Okay, so that's no correlation. Okay, go to the fourth one, the one here, the one I'm showing the cursor. So here we have again, much like the first one, it is also the same strong correlation and the correlation coefficient is one, but it is upward sloping so it's a positive relationship x x goes up so does y go to the next this is again positive correlation but the strength is uh, less but the last one is again with no correlation so this is typically the case of a linear relationship between two variables and that's how that you can measure by correlation coefficient all right, so we'll try to understand now the linear relationship and curvy linear relationship, or you know, in some sense, in loose, loosely we can say that non-linear relationship. The first one, you can see there's a straight line that that can be drawn, uh, or there is a you know very clear upward trend which can be depicted in a straight line. But if you go right, you see, you know, if first there is a upward trend and there is a downward trend it is not linear because it is changing the path and we can not fit a linear line rather we have to fit a curve so that is non-linear or curvy linear similarly third one again it is linear downward sloping but linear fourth one non-linear because it's not a straight line that actually can pass to these data points it has to be a curve and that's why it is curvy linear so this is the difference between linear relationship and covalent relationship. Now remember, correlation is the linear relationship between two uh, variables. Okay, Pearson coefficient, in particular, is the measure of linear relationship between two variables x and y, not the nonlinear or covalent relationship that we can see right side of this graph, the two graphs on the right sides, and not something that can be measured using. Uh, in correlation coefficient such as Pearson correlation coefficient. Now there could be strong relationship and weak relationship. Okay. If the data points are closer to each other, there seems to be a strong relationship, but they are farther away, is it? Uh, the relationship is, is somewhat uh, weak. Okay. So you can see the first one, the first one, it is strong because the closed one. If you go to the right, the first, you know, in the left, the two uh, graphs on the left, the the the, the cases where we have strong relationship, but the ones on the right, you see there is, you know, uh, seems to be a weak relationship. No relationship. Cases where you know, uh, you know, x doesn't I and mean, y doesn't increase with respect to x, or x doesn't increase with respect to y. Such is the case where you know there is no relationship. Uh, there is also cases where you know the data points like parallel to either x-axis or parallel to either y-axis if that's the case even those situations we can say that you know uh, the linear correlation is zero so there is no real linear correlation as such we can calculate um, 
we can calculate correlations if, of course by using the formula of course most of this um, most of this um, modern softwares have their own function that can you know, calculate the correlation for us but we certainly can calculate by ourselves as well using you know, the, the formula and you can also have um, you know, distribution of a correlation uh, with, with standard error and we'll talk more about it later in this lecture as to what the standard error is and you know what how, how does it help us okay so here is a bit of a linear regression linear regression takes the you know more of some concepts or rather some basic um, motivation for correlation it also tries to find out relationship between two or more variables okay while correlation is more more of the times uh, between two uh, variables um i mean uh, at least the um, at least the popular ones linear regression on the other hand can include uh, more than two variables okay secondly in linear relationship uh, in linear regression you have a dependent variable and you could have a set of independent variables and we'll talk about what dependent and independent variables are there's no such concept in in correlation uh, in correlation uh, we cannot measure as to if x goes up by five percent what is going to be the corresponding increase in y that cannot be measured in uh, correlation but we can measure this in in in, in regression in linear regression so um, you know given a value of x you can predict the value of y which is you know another variable related to x using linear regression but you can't do that using correlation that's another weakness of correlation and that's why regre linear regression actually helps uh, you know uh, do a lot of things that correlation can do so there is an uh, example um, so a regression line basically i mean just just to uh, just to you know understand more of a layman language a regression line is basically a straight line and if you know your basic ma uh, your school mathematics a basic uh, linear line um, can be represented at y equal to mx plus a b where b is your um, intercept and m is your slope coefficient in the slope slope of the line slope of the line is nothing but you know take uh, the angle that uh, it has with x-axis take the tan of that angle tangent of that angle you know, and that's nothing but your slope and the intercept is just that where it cuts the y-axis you know just measure the distance from the origin that's your um, intercept okay and you can represent that with y equals mx plus b and then you know given the value of x and of course you need to know what m and b are and we'll use that as an estimation process from the data and given the value of x you'll be able to predict the value of y okay so it it, it helps in predicting particular variable given another variable okay in technical terms what is a slope a slope uh, it is it just means that if there is a one unit change in x what is the corresponding change in y okay so which is like delta y divided by delta x okay and that's what slope slope is okay, okay. so what is it used for well, i have already said that to you uh, linear regression is basically used for prediction and also used to know relationship between y and x of course in correlation also you can know the relationship but then you cannot know if x increases by one unit what is going to be the increase in y you also get to know whether there is a negative relationship positive relationship just by looking at the coefficients the value of m which is the slope coefficient. if it's negative then there's a negative relationship it is positive there is a positive relationship okay um okay so we'll take an example to understand later 